Alright, I have a Generac RS 5500 gasoline powered generator that I have converted to natural gas. Uh, it's actually dual fuel, so uh, there's kits out there anywhere from $170 to $300. Um, my kit total cost was under $75. Uh, I'll show you what I did and how easy it is and you can save some money. So these are the parts basically that I used. I had a Century regulator, pressure regulator, and then the fittings to go on top of it for the outlet. And this stainless steel gas hose was actually on clearance and I got it for five dollars. So yeah, it's a little long for the purpose. You'll see that after I put it on. And then uh, a couple of bolts and a couple of spacers and uh, the nuts have nylon inserts so that they won't back out because the vibration of course you get from the generator. You would not want that to happen. And then on the air cleaner side I'll show you what I did there in just a second. On this Generac it has an air cleaner located on the front here. Just unscrew it. Very long thread. Get that off and then you have this foam filter and then you have this metal plate here. And I didn't interfere with any of this. All I did was come around the side and drill the hole. It was covered up with tape because I let somebody use it for a while that used it for gasoline. And I also added up here a valve to turn the gas off. So I could still use it for gas or I can shut it off and use it for the natural gas. So this is the back side of the regulator. It has a primer. You'll still be able to get to that. What I did was I drilled two holes in the frame to mount it and then I'm going to use these with the spacer. So the spacer is going to be between that to keep it pushed out. Have it in there like that. Then run the hose around to the hole that I created in the side right there. So there I've got it mounted on the frame. And it's pretty solid. This is where I'll connect the quick connect for the gas line, the input, and then Obviously the shutoff valve there and the hose. And here, this is the end of the hose. Go so like that. And on the other side, this will come out like that. And I'll show you what I do with that. So once I've got that connected there, you'll see that it's pointing up into the direction of the intake for the carburetor uh, but it's not quite sufficient and a lot of the kits will have some that will actually put a something inside the throat uh, but what I came up with is something just very simple and that is just to take a copper elbow <clears throat> so what I did was I put a copper elbow on there and you'll see that the throttle all the way open and closed okay so when I put this in there it doesn't interfere with that at all but what it does is it directs that fuel into the carburetor so then I can put this back on so there it is with the plate on put the filter back on, I'll put the cover back on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it. You can see that the fuel line is cut off and I've got the gas line hooked up. Quick connect. Um, from my experience I don't need this all the way open. And there's a primer, like I said, there's a primer on here. So you prime that. 
couple of times to get that going. just to show you that it was on the natural gas and not on the gasoline. So there you go. Save yourself some money. A little conversion kit. It's mostly 3 8 inch fittings, a uh, little 90 degree elbow, a couple of fittings on the end of the hose fit to the outlet, um, and then whatever you have as far as propane or natural gas. Propane's a different regulator. It's a different setup. It's high, higher pressure, uh, but you can do the same thing. You just need a different uh, regulator.